222 day, we are going to be talking about Velo because it has announced a partnership with Solana to act as a clearinghouse for Laos's digital gold transactions for about 7.7 million people. And it is directly tied into XLM. And there are also some connections into XRP because of who is involved in Velo. And of course, we have had a huge uptick in price in past 24 hours as well. And we also have anticipation of an Orbit platform announcement as far as an iOS and an Android app go. So a bit more on price because that is probably the most interesting thing at this point in time. We are up to just under 1.5 cents at this time. Here is our four hour chart where we cleared out of our local high and are establishing higher highs. It is that same thing on the one hour chart where our RSI has dropped and is pulling up again and our MACD is turning up too. On the one day chart, it begins to paint a little bit more of a long term picture where our RSI has turned up and our MACD has turned up as well and we are establishing higher highs. But of course, on the one week chart, we are at a pretty high RSI and MACD right now, but if you look at what Velo is actually accomplishing right now, technicals might not be the concentration here. I posted about a chart that is c comparing Velo to SHX, and here it is Velo over SHX. So as SHX goes down, or as Velo goes up, that is shown here. And it shows that over the last four months or so, we have had a change from SHX into Velo as the gains in Velo have far outpassed SHX at this point in time. And that is not to say that I am not huge on SHX. I think that it has everything there. It is just a much more cautious project because it is establishing real world connections in extremely valuable industries. So I have a couple of tweets from Ollie in here who did not expect a soul and Velo partnership. A 100 million market cap partnering with a top three 80 billion market cap L1 is unexpected. And that comes with a lot of influence and technological and capital backing that could continue to propel Velo, not only in price, but in adoption. And he called out that Binance has been continuing to accumulate Velo on XLM. So our highlight day is that Velo and Solana Foundation signed an MOU to establish a clearinghouse for Laos's digital gold transactions. And I have a bit more on how gold itself ties into Velo and the country of Laos, which I thought was an interesting coincidence but I'll explain that part here in a bit. So essentially what this means is that Velo plays a crucial role in facilitating the overall operation and reliability of the clearinghouse. And it is responsible for validating and finalizing transactions between buyers and sellers on Solana's chain. The MOU also includes a robust bridging mechanism to enhance interoperability between Solana's L1, Nova, and EVM compatible chains. Now, as far as our price related action goes, Velo was up to 86 million in 24 hour volume, which was an increase from just under 62, a span of about four hours. 
And here on CoinGecko, it is now up to 106, which is even higher as our price c continues to push up. And if we compare that against XLM, we see that XLM has a 24 hour volume of 93 million, which is about 10 to 15% under Velo at this point. Now, of course, if you compare it up against XRP, it is not in that same ballpark at all as XRP has had about 2 billion over the past 24 hours. However, if we begin to compare Velo and XLM a bit more, the ratios between volume and market cap are extremely interesting because right now we are at almost a one to one in terms of Velo and about a one to 40 in terms of XLM, which yes, that does include a price spike, but it also goes to show how quickly Velo is catching on and how quickly its adoption is catching up in terms of price action. So Solana is trying to undergo a renaissance right now because in 2022, it was having a hard time primarily because of FTX. And I'm still not completely convinced on this whole, but there is a lot of uh, attention on it. Holana has had the most retail exposure. You need to understand that Velo has a market facing app that includes payments and in DeFi, which is about to be released to the general public. Every single move made by Velo over the past couple of months have been all about market facing exposure. And the partnership with Holana is just another step in evidence of that. Here is the announcement from Velo itself, which is the exact same as in Cointelegraph, and I won't be expanding on it more. We have another comment from Dom, who is expanding on the adoption idea from Polly, that despite the bumps on the road for Seoul, with Velo and Lightnet, they are rolling out even more real world adoption. So here we have a bit more of a uh, technical take on Velo and Holana. So Velo plays a crucial role in facilitating the overall operation and reliability of the clearinghouse function. Notice how validation of transactions is being maintained by the Stellar Consensus Protocol. It allows for proof of stake L1s like Solana the scale. And he's not talking about TPS. He is talking about it from the perspective that on the Stellar reputation and trust is what upholds the validity of the transactions, not monetary staking rewards, which is the exact same way how XRP works too. And that kind of consensus protocol is exactly why XLM and XRP are as attractive as they are for these kinds of financial institution inclined projects and platforms. Early on in this piece of content, I did talk about Orbit and Polly was connecting how Velo is partnering up with Holana and is rolling out products and platforms extremely quickly right now. And we have an iOS and Android app set to be announced possibly in April that opens up Orbit, which is concentrating on QR code payments, which are technically offline payments that are conducted at stores and in different kind of apps and in peer-to-peer -peer tr tr transactions. And it is extremely popular over in Asia. Here is an explanation about all of the products and platforms that Velo has. So that is Orbit, but the interesting connection to gold 
and the digital gold project at the core of the announcement has an interesting connection into the universe platform. I have t talked about it in the past and it is a hybrid DEX. It has features that make it extremely uh, adoptable for, for institutions, but it has the and convenience of a decentralized exchange. And the interesting connection that I caught was how you are able to trade commodities, for example, gold. And Velo has put out advertising content that specifically calls out gold. And when we combine that with the digital gold project announcement, the country of Laos apparently has a lot of gold and I didn't really remember that off of the top of my head, but I have seen in the past that the Southeast Asia area has a good amount of gold production. And it was published May 18th of 2022, but it calls out how the gold output will triple in between 2023 and 2030. So even though the digital gold project does not publicly have anything to do with physical gold, I did think it was an interesting coincidence and a connection back into what Velo is including in one of its headline products.